We had some funza at Monza. All right, so this week it took us to Italy and Monza. I was a little worried about this track, um, given its reputation for the first uh, lap, turn one being a huge uh, buster, shall we say. And aside from a few of the races early on where we qualified really poorly, um, it went pretty safely. Um, I didn't have too many issues after that, at least not on um, lap one which we'll talk about a little bit later um i'm i'm really proud to say that throughout the week um we did we did all right um learned the track i think fairly quickly i had done it a few times before so it wasn't completely new to me but like only like maybe two or three times um before this week so uh, i was pretty pleasantly surprised when we got our i rating to go the right direction we went up from an 1167 to a 1236 yay um our safety rating did not fare quite so well um we did have some some crashy moments but most of it was due to off tracks um which i think are pretty easy to get around this course i think it does have a little bit of that reputation our uh, safety rating went from an A 3.51 down to an A uh, 2.38. So uh, we've got a little bit of work uh, to get that back up. We'll, we'll keep it above two for the end of the season anyway. I Fingers crossed. Um, our times, I'm, I'm proud of this too. Um, we started out with a 153, 729.00. Uh, got that down to a 151.115 uh both in uh from our first race down to uh the our best lap on our best race i was wanting it to get into the 150s we were close i think it would have been doable i just couldn't get it done unfortunately as far as how we're doing in our standings uh in the fantech gt3 challenge we um placed 146 this week which is down from last week's 122nd place um our average start was 10th our average finish was 10th i don't know if it's because we didn't do more um races in this or or what um but yeah we just did not have as strong a showing in that series as we did last week um overall we dropped to 29th place from last week's place of uh 25th our average uh, start is still at an 8, and our average finish is still at a 9th. Um, we'll see how um, we can... I'd, I'd like to get back into the top 25, but I don't know if that's a feasible reality uh, to live in. But, uh, yeah, we're still doing okay. Um, about the same place. In the VRS GT3 Sprint Series, we did a lot better, which is usually... Um, the weaker series for me um, We placed 97th this week last week. We were 120th um, With an average start of 12th and an average finish of 10th um, Which is better than our we, we normally do that beat our average or our, our overall average which uh, we're at uh, 38th place uh, overall in the standings in division 7 uh, last week we were 30th so we've dropped a few places there again as people's bye weeks that they didn't participate in are starting to get filled out that's gonna happen our average start uh, overall is still a 13 and our average finish is still a 12. so yeah i don't think that a top 25 is feasible in that series but you never know crazier crazier things have happened some takeaways from monza towards the end of the week um, we were starting to have some really good competitive races. I think as I learned the track, and I learned that you needed to take the curbs um, to get solid times, um, I started doing that. Unfortunately, I started getting a lot of slowdown, so um, midway through the week, I kind of started to learn a little bit of how much curb you can take before you get the slowdown or the angle you need to take, but I wasn't able to get it completely. Um, this race that I'm showing uh, right now over this talking, um, we started out really well. I had one of the better overtakes I think I've, I've had. And then later on, we got another overtake, but 
we ended up at some point uh getting a massive slowdown which caused me to um i didn't want to give up the position that i had recently gained and trying to mitigate the amount of slowdown that i like make the slowdown slow me down as little as possible i ended up not clearing it which gave me a uh, penalty and that held us up for like 40 seconds in the pits um unfortunately that cost us quite a few positions which eh, it, it is what it is um we ended up trying to fight back from that but uh it didn't quite happen um but after that race i i got fewer slowdowns and, and cleared them more uh aggressively i would say which um a member of the chat unknown knowns pointed out to me that you know way back when i first started this thing i would aggressively lift when i whenever i got a slowdown or, or just try and clear it as fast as possible um instead of trying to mitigate how much it actually slowed me down just you know um which i think is showing progress a little bit and there were times too where i'd get a save or, or whatever that was really like surprising to me that i actually could save some of these things and previously like way back when i first started uh because he's been with us for for quite a while uh he he said you know hey when you first started out you would have just resigned yourself to crashing and that's true so i guess i'm um, kind of looking back at things that way i have like the the progress that we've made over the course of uh this project is pretty immense another unfortunate thing that happened early on um i was um starting further back in the pack i wasn't qualifying quite as well or maybe there were just crazier people joining the races and they um the the first turn was a little messy we didn't get caught up into it usually somebody had suggested taking the alternate route uh in the chicane um to get through it so i did the, i tried that one race but it meant that uh i basically had to let the entire field by because well the chicane did look like it was piled up but everybody got out of it and whatnot point of the story is that um later on in that race i started to catch back up to the people in the back after i had let everybody by and they had another massive uh incident in the chicane and coming through it um this guy had a interesting uh rejoin um it was he he had caused the incident as far as i could tell looking back at the replay and well, he didn't want to give up any space and just rejoined right pretty much into me. And from my perspective, like, I couldn't really see what he was doing and, and, and whatnot. It was uh, pretty egregious and frustrating. And I think that was the most frustrated I got all week, even even with all the the slowdowns and and what have you and i've been trying um it wasn't so hard this week but um trying to get better at and i think i was this is one place where i think i've fallen back a little bit as i've gotten a little bit more competitive i've gotten more competitive and i'm trying to let not let the little incidents or or bad bad things get to me as much put me in a bad headspace let me like make me have a bad day and that's just a general life thing um i'm trying to work on i i think that's something that we all need to strive for right don't let the setbacks take you down that's what we're working on next week's going to take us to circuit of the americas which i don't really know what his reputation is um and i've i've not really done anything other than quickly look at the track map so we'll see how that one's going to play out. If you've got any tips, uh, leave them down in the comments below. And um, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. As always, the subscribe button helps. Head on over to twitch.tv slash man to follow along live. And until then, we'll see you next time. Those are both the same thing. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye now.